Hey guys, Christian here. Welcome back to the uh, Swap Depot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 Swap Depot. So today, we got another episode on the E36. What we got today is, we have an eBay HID kit, an eBay wing, LTW replica, whatever you want to call it. Some people don't like it, other people do. And then we also have a front lip from Bimmer World. I think it's called the RS Spec front lip. It looks pretty nice for a plastic lip. It does not have underneath, that is the only thing, but from up top you won't even be able to tell what it is. So yeah, it's called the Max Velocity E36M3 RS Lip. It only works with the, so if you don't have the M3 bumper then it will not fit. And plus shipping, because we're going to install the HID kit. We shall see. Comes with two bulbs. These are uh, 6K HIDs, I think. I'm gonna call it two of those. And then extra harnesses to plug them in. And then a bunch of instructions that I never follow. So, this, which is a LTW wing. Definitely not real. It's a replica and it is plastic and it will go like so. Obviously it's not painted so we're gonna put it on first, test fit everything, make sure it fits right and then I'm going to send the, bo the car to the body shop to get the whole trunk painted with the wing matched and then also fixed, fix this dent and fix this dent, which would be replacing the whole door and then paint matching the whole side of the car along with the rear wing and the trunk together since I already had the rear bumper paint matched. All right, so it should be fairly simple to remove the bulb and then install everything like that. Don't forget the gasket because you don't want water getting in there. All right, so I can't record and do this at the same time, so I'm gonna do it and then go. It's installed. That versus that. That looks way better. So what I did was had to jerry-rig some things to make the bulb fit because I bought the wrong bulb. Yep. So make sure you buy, buy the right bulb. You got power, ground, power, I mean power and ground. And then you have the module and you can just set it up anywhere you want. So same thing applies for both sides. All right, so after you plug in your harness and stuff, I would highly recommend putting a heat shrink on this negative because it does tend to come out positive has its own plug doesn't really come out but the negative definitely and you would also crimp it a little bit so it has a better connection so what I did was I made a hole here I'm gonna feed all the wires through there and then get everything connected on the outside look at that warm-up it's blue on this side yes what are you doing in my video Hey, what are you doing pointing at me? Yeah, why are you pointing at me? What's up? What's hey, up? Hey, what you, you, you want to do with that, bro? What's up? Alright. Mm. Let's fight your squirrel. This pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's pissed off about his exhaust fitment. Yes. Alright, anyways, we're done with the headlights. Now we're going to install that front lip. Will it fit? It does fit. So you gotta remove the stock front lip to get this off. 
which mine is messed up anyway, so we're gonna do that first. Installed, it is sturdy. I like, I like. And it does fit pretty good. It looks like much race car. I like, I like, very nice. All right, so the lip is done. Now we move on to the dinner table, AKA the wing. Comes with this stuff. I don't know what this is. Some kind of stripe thingy jig. I think it's supposed to be in between the spoiler and the trunk. Then we have these. China. Then we got hardware. It's like studs and some bolts. Hopefully it fits. Yes. I gotta measure this and make sure it fits right. Very edge of the trunk. Mm-hmm. So um, like putting the bolts through here. Like I can do it on the inner side because there's nothing here. But on the outer side, there's uh, an obstacle. It becomes right here. Hmm. So I would have to get a hole saw and then drill this out. Make it big enough where I could put a, a freaking socket. So I could tighten the oh, wing yeah. back on. That's the thumbnail right there. You just sit right here in the trunk with your head poking out the side. <laughs> Put them into the spoiler. Yeah. Right there. Right? I don't even think it needs to be uh, paint matched. It looks good black. Less maintenance. Yeah, except it's plastic, so it's gonna turn into doo <laughs> gray. I just gotta like scratch the top. Yeah, do your marks. It's easy, just put some pressure. <laughs> oh, look at you. You're, that's not a steady hand at all. Will you shut up? <laughs> Snap on. Never mind. Oops. That's the thumbnail right there. Wow, look at that precision. Uh, look at that precision right there. Precision Sport Industries. Yes. One and one and a half. 38 millimeter hole saw. Is what we're gonna use. Wow! Hey! And the piece is in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna sound like rod knock. Nice special tool. You're not gonna get to it. It's probably already somewhere like right here. <laughs> okay. And you gotta perfectly get it out. Like it has to be perfect. Think about it, it's like a sewage cover. It has to be perfect or it won't go through. What's underneath the fabric here? You can't see in there? I don't know. I'll worry about that later. Think about it, even if you hook it, it's not gonna come out. Yeah, but I could at least try to grab it or something. Yeah, it would have to be like literally perfect, probably flat. Damn, that's sturdy. Oh, wrong direction. Yeah. Very sturdy. Talk 
two cents. Huh. <laughs> wow. What? Why are you just, laughing like that? I'm no, I'm just laughing in a good way because you got all the mods in the car. I actually, keep talking shit. It, no, <laughs> I actually think it looks pretty good. But that's because you already have everything. You already have everything going for the car. When you put it on the green one that you had, it just looked like garbage. But <laughs> this, it kind of fits it. The LTW wing, just because you already have everything else done to it first. I was gonna pull out my. Would I put it on my car? Hell no. But no, we're putting it on an E90. <laughs> <What are you talking? laughs> Look at that! Damn, son. This car looks like it has at least 400 horsepower. <laughs> wow damn son it actually looks good black though because it goes with the you know with the the side i mean the diffuser down there huh the diffuser and all that. yeah the diffuser the the trim on the side of the car door handles the the window trim maybe i should leave it black i don't know it, just, it looks good man what do you guys think black or uh paint matched color matched with the paint red i know i'm kind of digging that black remember that tool i told i gave you yesterday yeah that i said do not lose i didn't lose it all right cool because that comes in clutch that that tool bro that's my favorite tool wow that's another one another one and another one so did you tell him you can actually transform this wing to be shorter Oh yeah, I didn't. Yeah, so you can uh, essentially remove this middle portion and it's gonna make it a lot shorter. Yeah, so if you don't buy the wing with the risers, then it just comes with two piece instead of three piece. And I guess some people run it with the, just a two piece. Most people run it with three. Yeah, okay. yeah, it fits. It fits pretty good. Right? Mm-hmm. $260? Pretty good. Not bad. eBay special? Yes. And it's plastic. It's not fiberglass. Wow. So it's not going to, you know, explode if something hits it. <laughs> and it fits pretty good. Yeah. It says for a coupe, I think, when I bought it. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I showed, lines, the, I showed the side so they can see that it protrudes a little bit right there. All the lines are pretty much... Pretty much spot on. I mean, it's not going to get perfect, obviously, unless you buy OEM. But for the most part, it does fit nice. Maybe I shouldn't give them the link so I can buy all of them. <laughs> and then just sell them. <laughs> yeah. You hear that? You're airing it out. <laughs> <laughs> new, new bulbs or new HID, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. You can't even say headlights. Cause Do you know what HID stands for? HID. Oh my god. <laughs> Moving on. Got the new front lip. Shit. Dude, are you missing air ducts down there? Yeah, I'm missing the fog lights and then the... This is for like brake, uh, brake yeah. duct, whatever. I don't need that. Who needs brakes? <laughs> Overrated. Anyways, new lip. Looks pretty aggressive compared to that piece of shit. And then... Ooh. Yes. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>